Uh, I want to get on to a little bit of this Aquaman stuff again, just ever so slightly. Uh, two bits here. So Aquaman of the Lost Kingdom, the director James Wan mocks the hilarious <laughs> trailer teaser for upcoming sequel. We'll get to that. But also, uh, it turns out the only part of that court case where Amber Turd was not lying <laughs> is when she revealed the spoilers to Aquaman of the Lost Kingdom. So her dog didn't it. step on a bee? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> Confirms Arthur Curry's new role is going to be uh, Water Dude Bro Daddy O. Aqua Daddy. So, right, let's first things first. Let's, let's get to this crap, right? So, I did a video on this, and people were like, You're dramatizing it. No, I'm not, because it's important contextually what James Wan was replying to. So, contextually, someone commented on his uh, Instagram and says, Is this a fucking trailer for a trailer? Pretty harsh. And he goes, ha, 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 I know, it's hilarious. So contextually, yeah, he's mocking it. Absolutely. Thoughts? I mean, I, maybe he's telegraphing some feelings. We He went into the hospital recently for exhaustion. Um, and the, yeah, and the rumor going around was that, that it was from all the stress from Aquaman um, because they keep making him go back and reshoot. Uh, so at this point, like I've heard also that he's just kind of threw his hands up in the air on the movie at this point, because I can it, believe that. they've had him change so much stuff. And this thing has been, I guess, a nightmare from the start. And that was a thing we heard back when I kept asking what's hero. going on with what's going on with Amber. And they kept saying Amber's the least of the movie's problems. The biggest problem is yeah. the movie sucks. Um, so I don't know. And it tested horribly. Like I even heard it tested worse than Batwoman. So. Yeah, I well, I heard it was on par, but we may have got two different um, versions. And this may have been another one of the things. tests because they test screened it a couple different times in a couple different forms. So who knows? Yeah, yeah. that's the point, isn't it? When when you're recutting the film many times and reshooting various bits and pieces, the various test screenings that come out and being leaked. I mean, yeah, I I, I didn't hear good things anyway, so none of the reports uh, and sort of feedback that I was getting from people that was coming out. It was never good. There was never anything positive about it. Again, he was lecturing the UN at one point about fucking climate change. Like, what? No, go away. Like, I'm so sick of these films lecturing me on things. Oh, dear, oh, dear. So, Culture, do you, do you see this as him mocking uh, the teaser trailer? Oh, you know, of course, bit? of course. I mean, and again, or making just a bit of fun. Um making just a bit of fun and, and and rightfully so i mean in my time to shine hello is you know obviously uh spot on most of the time but no i look i you can't blame him for 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 dropping his frustration i mean it, it, as, as tom said i mean it's been it's ta it's taken forever to get this movie out and he would rather mm. be doing almost anything else i swear he's got a lot of projects he would rather be involved in so. well yeah i mean he's doing a lot of, lot of production work isn't he you know um his production house gets a lot of uh, a lot of movies nowadays. He's got some deals with Universal and Blumhouse and things, partnered up with a lot of stuff. So, yeah, I'm sure he wants to get the yeah. hell out of this Aquaman mess and on to mm. better pastures. Yeah. Well, we also have this updated plot synopsis. Like I said, this uh, confirms that the one and only time Amber Turd was not lying was indeed uh, about this. So, yeah, here about it is. Aqua having, baby. Having failed to defeat Aquaman the first time. Black Manta, still driven by the need to avenge his father's death, will stop at nothing to take Aquaman down once and for all. This time, Black Manta is more formidable than ever before, wielding the power of the mythic Black Trident, which unleashes an ancient and malevolent force. Sure. To defeat him, Aquaman will turn to his imprisoned brother, Orm, the former king of Atlantis, to forge an unlikely alliance. Together, they must set aside their differences in order to protect their kingdom and save Aquaman's family and the world from irreversible destruction. Uh, all returning uh, all, all returning to the roles they originated, Jason Momoa plays Arthur Curry, now balancing his duties as both the king of Atlantis and a new father. Patrick Wilson is Orm, Aquaman's half-brother, uh, and his nemesis, who must now step into a new role as his brother's reluctant ally. Amber Turd is Mera, Atlantis, uh, queen and mother of the heir to the throne. Uh, fucking... Sure. Why didn't this just, who cares? What a shit synopsis. This is not remotely exciting, is it? 
Really? Not remotely exciting. Mexican Iron Man, let's go. Come on. Well, I don't know. I might have been more excited about the climate change plot line, um, but I know that's, I've heard that's been taken out. Dude, this movie's going to suck and be awful. And and I think the problem is, is that what, are, what is the universe that we're going to get when, when we go to Aquaman? I mean, if we can't pick up the last story. We can't pick up any story that was the last story that he was in because all the heroes that he was with are gone. And so mm. we've got to, the reason the plot sucks is because they, there's nowhere to go. And I think one of the reasons they had a problem editing is because they know they don't have anywhere to leave this movie off. It's, that's how the flash felt. Remember how when the flash ended, they thought they were going to get us with like member berries and cameos. But in the end, we're like, well, yeah. this is not going anywhere. And this movie isn't going anywhere either, Nate. I don't know where it's going to go. It's not going to go anywhere. And who knows if we're going to see this guy again. And pain. if we do, we're going to see him in what Diablo maybe. I don't know. Well, no. So, um, uh Jason Momoa is going to get recast as Lobo. That's the sorry, I said Diablo. I meant Lobo. I yeah, no, I meant Lobo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I yeah, I know. I mean, it just you know, the thing is a film doesn't need to be connected to anything else to be good. But when you know that the film you're about to watch is connected to a defunct dead universe, it does, you know, hinder people's excitement an investment in the product that you're presenting to them because really? you've established it as something which is connected to something else and you've told us that the thing it's connected to is now dead so it becomes a bit of a pointless you know exercise in entertainment i can watch something else which is standalone that's equally as entertaining so yeah i um, it's going nowhere absolute bag of dicks basically absolute bag of dicks not good not good at all Thank you.